I just finished up the 335i twin turbo upgrade. It actually turned out really nice. The clearances on these are like super tight, I guess because they're so tiny. We also had the turbines clipped and balanced. One idea that I had for upgrading the, the 335i turbos is if you just cut this part off and welded a flange for the teal V-band housing and then put like a GT2860 or 30R inside that to make them dual ball bearing. I think that makes more sense. And this part right here already appears to be stainless steel, so you could just weld their stainless flange on there. I think that makes a lot more sense in upgrading these, unless you're just kind of looking for a small upgrade. Uh, also, this, this right here is nickel. So, well, it's it's got a nickel in the in the metal, so that's really easy to weld onto, even if you cut it lower. But as far as like if you did like a 30R upgrade, you could probably get like 800 horsepower out of the car, so, rather than like you can probably get like 400 out of this, maybe 450 if you're lucky. But uh, that's what I would do if. If I was like really serious about making a lot more power, I would just cut this thing off, put a V-band exhaust housing on there, and then make it 30R. We have all the parts to make ball bearing turbos and stuff like that, but we've never actually done it for this. However, hopefully maybe in the future sometime we'll do something like that.